morning's health check, most people could save hundreds, if not thousands of dollars by taking advantage of dental benefits before the end of the year. While some plans run on a fiscal year, most run on a calendar year. And here with a look at what's at stake is Dr. Isa Kawaja. He's with Summit Dental. So, Doctor, tell us right off the bat, should people be mindful of this? You know, it's Christmas time. Everybody's probably very busy, but they should be thinking about their teeth. Well, just like anybody else, everybody kind of waits the last minute. But um, dental uh, insurance and benefits uh, are much different than medical benefits. And people don't realize that there is a yearly max that dental insurance pays for dental services per year. It could be $1,000, it could be $1,500, depending on the insurance company and who their carrier are. But um, so that's why it's very important. And they also don't realize that those yearly benefits don't roll over from year to year, mm -hmm. that they actually expire. So people get really busy with the holidays and, and everything, uh, with kids and all the, the, everything that's going on in life. So it's uh, very important for people to realize that, that they need to get themselves into the dentist. And if there happens to be any issues or any problems that they need to take care of, that they can take advantage of those benefits this year without having them expire and, uh, and potentially save some money this year because they could po possibly cover some benefits this year and then when it rolls over again in January 1st, cover uh, other services that they may need. And probably people have met their deductible so far this year, so they don't have to worry about that expense as well, right? Yes, and you know, usually deductibles for dental insurance, is uh, they're not quite the same as, as medical insurance. So it could be as minimal as $50 for a deductible, maybe $75. Nothing that you see that how large deduct deductibles can be in the medical. So don't just tell people, don't be nervous or intimidated by that. And one thing that uh, people probably fall into the same boat as me, I, I don't know how much money I've spent on my dental health care this year, kind of a ballpark figure, but is there somebody in your office or in most dental offices that can help you sort of guide yourself through this? Oh, there's, it's so easy, you know, you, you give, uh, give your dentist or us a call and uh, they will verify your insurance, they'll tell you what you've spent, what your history was, what kind of benefits you have left. Uh, but it's, you know, it's very important for people to come into the dentist at least twice a year to uh, make sure that they don't end up having any kind of, you know, general teeth cleaning, oral cancer screenings, uh, check uh, their, uh, not only their teeth, but their gums and make sure they're healthy, you know, to head off any kind of potential problems that may be in the, t in the future. Sure, and is there still time to make an appointment? I mean, it's December 7th already, or the end of the year is charging right at us. Well, yeah, it is, but you know, just we all anticipate that every, people are busy, and so we, we make sure our staff, we, we accommodate the people as much as we can. And yes, this is the time of year that we will take people's appointments, try to fit them in, walk-ins, because we know that we don't want people to, to you know, They'll call and they say, I really need to come in because I know my, my benefits are expiring. So we want, we want to help people as much as possible. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Doctor. I really appreciate it. Folks, if you want to see this segment again or want to hear more information on this, just go over to our website, abc13.com.